turning to West Africa and the unforgiving Ebola epidemic, Nigeria's health minister has confirmed two new cases of the virus. Both patients caught the disease from people who were primary contacts of the men who first brought the virus to Lagos. Nigeria's total number of recorded cases now stands at 14 as Ebola spreads, so does the fear and frustration. In Liberia, where hundreds have died from the virus, the government is passing out food and water to people quarantined in the West Point area of Liberia's capital, Monrovia. Some unwilling to honor the quarantine have clashed with police. This thing, this thing is our business. The government loves their people and they want to see their people doing well and to stay healthy and to make sure that this disease is serious. Dr. Kent Brentley is one of two American aid workers infected with the Ebola virus in Liberia. Both have been discharged from a U.S. hospital following treatment with an experimental drug known as Zimap. The World Health Organization says 1,350 people have died from Ebola in West Africa, with 576 of the death coming from Liberia. South Africa is banning non-essential travel from West Africa in an attempt to keep Ebola out. How long is the ban? We will assess. We will assess the situation. It will depend on the unfolding of events in West Africa. It will depend on what's happening. South Africa's health minister says the World Health Organization expects Ebola to remain a threat at least for another six months. And South Africa has instituted an immediate travel ban for non-citizens from the high-risk Ebola nations of Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. South Africans returning from those countries will be subject to a strict screening process.